All right, guys. Um, I got a new product I want to tell you about, and uh, I'm super excited about it. I was online yesterday. I saw that Rick uh, had these things available with Rocky Mountain Precision Air Guns. And so I came up here to grab this from him today. I've got, uh, actually, I've got both my Texans up here. I'm getting two of these triggers and getting them put on. So these things are super cool. Uh, it, it'll go in any of your Air Force guns that are like current model production. So whether it's a Texan or a Talon, uh, it's machined out of a uh, one piece billet and uh, made in the USA. So I'm gonna break into this little box right here and show you guys what it looks like. All right, here's the box. And I am gonna break this guy open real quick. All right, so the first thing you notice um, is that your Allen key that you need is in the top of the box and uh, it's taped on there. Got a nice little green sticker in case you drop it. All right, so let me get this guy open. Oh man, look at that. So machined out of one piece billet, uh, adjustable trigger pad, adjust it for height up and down and for angle as well. And this operates off a, yeah, let me get that in there. It's got a ball bearing in there. I understand that's a, permanently lubricated yep and so zero maintenance pop this bad boy in i'm not much of a mechanic so i am going to allow uh rick to drop this bad boy in let me get a close-up of that oh look at that he's got four colors red black blue i went with gold throw a little bling in there Oh, sweet. So there's a good shot of the close up of the trigger. Got my Texan right here. Got both of them actually. Might as well do it on, on both the uh, big bore Texans. There's the key. And on top of the box right here, there it is. Got a QR code. That gives you your install instructions on how to get this done. I'm excited to get this thing in here. I'm a big fan of the Texan. I love it. I've hunted uh, and, and killed a lot of different animals with it. You know, it has a couple of little quirks and the trigger is definitely one of them. It's a good trigger, but it, you know, it's not the smoothest uh, trigger out there. So hopefully this will smooth out that trigger, make it crisp and clean. So a couple of the ideas uh, behind upgrading the trigger on the Texan. Um, this is just machined uh, to give you a teeny bit more leverage and everything here is super polished. So the idea is you're going to just reduce your friction. And then with the ball bearing, it really cleans up some of that slop in there and gets you through that, that first stage of the trigger to ideally make it uh, more defined and give you a crisper, more consistent trigger pull. And this thing's great because you can really feel it when you get in there, put that on there, you know, besides the fact that it just looks super sweet, so. All right, so you can see here, there's the new trigger. Sharp, holy cow, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, that is sweet, check this out though. Oh, let me do it from this side. Just butter smooth. Got a nice tactile feel to it. You know exactly where your finger is on that trigger shoe. Super smooth. 
very little play on that you can't even uh really see it i mean it is just snug in there super smooth we'll go over here to the okay here's the stock trigger and you can just kind of you know we've all had that your finger hits it you're in the stand you hear it you know or it kind of jiggles around and uh when you when you squeeze this trigger you honestly feel it feels like metal on metal and that's because it is it's basically just a pin through a hole in the trigger and so when you're when you're squeezing it you can kind of hear it and feel it and then as you're putting that movement on it you know i don't know if you can see that wiggle but definitely a lot smoother took a lot of that play out of there you know here's the old trigger assembly it's a little piece of uh, steel with a little hole in it so that pin that holds it in just kind of rides in there and that. all right so there's kind of the two triggers side by side and uh nothing left to do really but shoot this thing see how it feels all right, hopefully that wind isn't getting picked up too much. It's, uh, you know, it's Colorado. So I'm gonna throw just a couple of these. I'm also kind of just getting my scope zeroed, but I really want to just test this trigger out and uh, see how it feels. Oh. So one thing we want to do just after you do your trigger install is make sure that it's, uh, it's engaging your your trigger to safe and that it's going both ways and then with it on safety make sure that when you pull that it doesn't go off so that lets you know your your safety's working you're good to go now throw one of these 390 vip hollow points down range here All right, so shoot another one. I'm just going to really pay attention to the trigger release on this one. Yeah, it is super crisp. It, it's just, it's smooth, but it has just such a nice clean break on it. It's really, really impressive. Great feel, great break. Very smooth. There we go. Yeah, that is smooth, man. Holy cow. Super smooth. One more. Sweet, that thing is beautiful, man. That is crisp, smooth, looks amazing, adjustable. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. Texan bling. I absolutely love this trigger. It is so crisp and clean and smooth, and it looks super cool. I don't hesitate to recommend for you guys to get one of these triggers. If you're looking for a, a really nice upgrade, to put on your Texan, 
They're not real expensive, but they definitely improve the quality of the trigger pull and that should Im improve the quality of your shooting. So check out Rick at Rocky Mountain Precision Air Guns. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but shoot him an email or hit him up on Instagram at RMP underscore air guns and uh, you will be super happy. Thanks for watching this episode of Colorado Air Gunner. I'm Jim Fisher, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.